I was in the final grad class, a white cap collegiate. It was the last residential school to close in Canada, 1996. She paused for a moment, only 12 years ago. And yes, the abuses that happened in the schools in the early years, they still happened in my school too. A hush came over the meeting that day. She reminded us that the legacy of those schools wasn't so far back in time. She had the courage to speak the unspoken, and no one knew quite how to respond. It was an elder, Sophie, who broke the silence. I learned this saying once, she said. What you live with, you learn. What you learn, you practice. And what you practice, you become. Until you learn a new way. I knew that saying. I heard it about 15 years earlier when I was in treatment. Sophie talked some more. Those schools, they taught us new ways. They took our traditional teachings away and replaced them with abuses, hunger, and loneliness. But it's the brave ones. She looked directly at the woman in the chair. She nodded her head and raised her eyebrows towards her. It's the brave ones like this young woman who will lead us and our families out of the darkness. Again, the room was quiet. All of us were far too familiar with the darkness, both in our own lives and in the lives of the families we served. Sophie sat forward in her chair and looked around the room at each of us. It's time for us to learn new ways so that our children and their children and the next seven generations are free from experiencing those things that are too painful for us to even talk about. She wiped her hand through the air, just as I'd seen B and Grandma Tilly do, but enough was enough. So let's get on with this meeting, she said. This is the work that will heal our families and ensure our future generations don't have a childhood they have to recover from.